My name is Dr. Christina Bedinnerman, and I'm a psychiatry medical director for Telespecialists. My name is Rachel Edelman. I'm a child and adolescent psychiatrist and the child and adolescent psychiatry medical director. Pediatric telepsychiatry um, is really an avenue for us to provide care um, to children with mental health needs via the telemedicine interface. And we're able to connect virtually, um, which allows our services to be um, obtained anywhere by anyone. In adult medicine, oftentimes you have just the person, the patient that's there with you one-on-one. -on -one. But in pediatric medicine, that's the norm. It's the standard to have multiple people there. And so when you do your evaluations, you have to be trained in being able to ask multiple questions from multiple people to consolidate that information and then form a treatment plan. Pediatric medicine is just different in that regard. Communicating with little ones uh, is a different ballgame than talking to adults about issues that they're presenting with. By having access to a board certified uh, a psychiatrist using uh, a telemedicine modality, those children are able uh, to be uh, seen in the emergency department by a psychiatrist and receive a fast, on-demand, comprehensive evaluation, diagnosis, disposition, and treatment plan. We have children that are showing up to the ERs in numbers that are unprecedented. And by having a child and adolescent psychiatrist available to consult on those patients, we're increasing their access to care in general. We're able to provide treatment plans, we're able to provide diagnoses, answer questions for families, and most importantly, we're able to triage effectively. So we can help patients who need to be in the hospital get to the hospital, and we can help patients who need to be home be home. Children with autism engage socially very different than our neurotypical children. Oftentimes, these children have difficulties with eye contact, difficulties engaging with somebody who presents themselves. There's formalities of social engagement that are a struggle for them. And I think the computer sometimes removes those barriers and they can feel more free to engage how they're comfortable engaging, again, without those learned formalities. I think the other place is in anxiety. Sometimes having a person walk in and sit in front of you again in that scary white coat um, can often make anxiety higher in children. And being on the computer offers, again, that comfortable scenario where they're communicating in a way that they always have and, and they like. Data over the past few decades uh, shows that satisfaction for telepsychiatry is very high, between 90 and 95 percent, which is comparable to a traditional uh, in-person model. In addition, introduction to telepsychiatry may actually lead to harm reduction by providing quick access to a telepsychiatrist who will be able to assess, diagnose disposition, and treat without delays. Again, telepsychiatrists are able to see anyone anywhere and parents appreciate that. They like being able to go into their local emergency room and to see a specialist. Patients appreciate access. Uh, they don't want to sit in the ER waiting 5, 10, 15 hours to see a provider. They want somebody there as quickly as possible and we're able to do that via telemedicine. We can be in Kentucky one morning seeing a patient and 10 minutes later, I can pop into Arizona and see someone there. And I think that that increases satisfaction and just being able to get prompt care and prompt triage for pediatric patients. I see the cost saving in being able to effectively triage children to the right place quickly. They don't have to wait in the ER for a provider any longer. We can be there, we can start treatment, we can intervene urgently, and that decreases costs on the overall system. We reduce the need for inpatient beds, we reduce the need for boarding, and we increase um, the ultimate time value for the physicians who are in the emergency room. 
to connect with patients, especially children, in a way that they're used to connecting. And sometimes they're more open, more forthright with their information because it's a familiar venue. Seeing somebody on the computer is often easier to communicate with when you're a child than seeing a scary white coat walk into the room in person. And so we can sometimes cut down those barriers, which can make our assessments even more effective and our interventions more effective than in-person care.